What's up internet? This is Dylan from Promote Local. I'm gonna talk to you today about growing an email list. Why would you need an email list? Well, you should probably watch a different video if you don't know that. So I'm just gonna skip right to the stuff that you wanna know, right? So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna set up something to where you, you make free content, right? You give, you give things away, you give information away for free whether that be a thought leadership article on, you know, let's say the culture or the climate of your industry, just your thoughts on where it is now and where it's gonna be. Or you can make a technical document, let's say you're a designer, in my case I'm a designer, you can make a white paper that details how to use a specific tool or you know how to work with clients in a, in a specific way. You can create, let's say, like a, a shortened version of some information on your own blog or you can write a blog on Medium and then you can offer an expanded version uh, on that topic via email. Another thing that people miss um, doing, which is really easy to get emails, is when you have a website, let's say you get a chat box, like a support box. Most web builders have a chat box, um, either feature or plugin that you can purchase uh, externally. Now, when someone goes on your website, they can go to this chat box, they can type in a question. You don't have to be live on your website at all times. Uh, you can tell that user that that question landed in some sort of inbox give some sort of conservative estimate of time when you're going to be replying to that email or that message and uh, boom you have an email right there also you can collect emails through your contact us section on the website you kind of want to be careful with this because they're not necessarily signing up for let's say marketing newsletters um, but you can do let's say you know hey you visited our website uh, for this specific reason lead them into a purchasing decision or a um, marketing email opt-in list decision. So another thing that you can do is through Facebook groups, uh, we actually admin a group called Adobe Illustrator 101. Now to get into the group, it's a, it's a private group, so to get into the group, you have to answer some questions. And one of the questions is actually, what's your email, right? So it's kind of interesting to vet people. You know, you only want the best kinds of people within your group, but also it's a good way to get emails and to get people into your email marketing system. So after we did that, we actually received about a thousand emails like that. So another way that you can collect emails is through a pop-up interstitial. Now I know it's not super sexy or exciting to have a website pop-up, um, but it, it can actually be very helpful and you don't have to have it pop up every time someone goes to the website immediately. So most setups with your email interstitials, you can have it where it pops up only once per day. You can have it pop up, let's say, if they're on a page for a specific amount of time, let's say if they're reading an article, um, people are on your page for longer than 30 seconds, you can have that interstitial pop up. And again, you can set the frequency so it's not like it's popping up every 30 seconds whenever someone's on a page. It'll keep track every 24 hours when someone's been logging on a session onto your website. So it's pretty unintrusive and people don't like it, they just hit the X button. It's not necessarily they're gonna have like a bad impression of you. Everyone does it, a lot of people do it. Um, so don't be afraid to ask for that email. Email is actually the highest converting form of media when it comes to sales. So I think social media, the thing is like 2% or something like that. But with email, you can get up to 30, 40% of conversion rates. It's the most highly engaged way of talking to your, your customers. It's also way of gauging the, the people who are most interested in your content. To sum everything up, basically just create more ways for people to put their emails on your website either through you know a chat box or ways to get more support getting people to sign up to your facebook groups uh, by using an email and also just create good content create stuff that people want to read they want to share and they have no problem giving you an email in the process so thank you for watching promote locals blog subscribe to this channel make sure you like Maybe leave a comment on, you know, your ways that you collect emails and hopefully we can learn more together.